What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and welcome back to Tekken 8 in 8 minutes. And so now we're gonna do the king himself, the jaguar wrestler, and dear lord, he's more jacked than ever, literally. He's very, he's a very strong boy in this game. When you have the best throws in the game, you kinda like the fact that throws are stronger than ever in Tekken 8. I'm gonna get into that. And he combines that with strong poking, king has always had strong poking. Being a big boy, however, gives you terrible movement. He has the worst backdash in the game. You can try and make up for this by using his own specific movement, which is Jaguar Step and Jaguar Sprint. While these are nice options, they're not as safe as traditional Tekken movement. But who cares, because you're not gonna retreat like a coward. You're gonna stand your ground and be a goddamn tank with muscle armor. Very strong, infinite utility, we're gonna get into it. But first off, froze. Why are they so strong? Let's say I want to tombstone you. That's a two break, 20 frame break window. All froze, you know, 20 frame break window. A new thing for Tekken 8, however, is that if a fro interrupts you and counter hits, the break window is now reduced to 8 frames. Which is literally nothing, and now you can't break froze on reaction. And when you have a best froze in the game, your name is King. Holy shit! That's a big deal for you. And then another thing is that Froze now track fully, so you can't sidestep Froze anymore. Again, a really big deal for King. Uh, if I launch you, you know, in Tekken 8 and I do any combo, half the damage is going to be recoverable, which is nice for the opponent, right? You have a chance to get that health back. Froze, however, no such thing. All the damage of a Froze is permanent, right? You can't regain any of that health. That's super nice for King. Uh, and then, if King does his normal throws, 2, 4, or 1 plus 3, he can hold or tap forward to give these way more distance and reach. He's the only one that can, that can do this. And then, if you have the execution, your classic throws, like Giant Swing, you see I can Blue Spark. This is tough execution, you gotta do it really quickly and precisely, but it adds 5 damage to Giant Swing, Tijuana Twister, and Shining Wizard. That's the hardest one to do, I just did it, Blue Spark, very hard to do, only for long time King players, that one. But five more damage, really cool, rewarding execution. So how do you mix his, his throws? Typically, you want to do a lot of Giant Swing. That's his best throw, and one of the best moves in the game. A normal throw typically comes out at 12 frames, Giant Swing comes out at 10 frames. It matches the speed of a jab. So if they block my jab, it's uninterruptible, because jabs are plus one, right? Uninterruptible. Huge damage. It's a one break, even though it looks like a one plus two break. Can't distinguish it from a one plus two. Muscle Buster is a one plus two, so I can mix these two. Giant Swing, Muscle Buster, they look the same. Or I do sh Shining Wizard, which is also a one plus two break, but looks like a uh, Giant Swing. A opponent has to take a guess. And now you can mix this with two throw. Tijuana Twister, huge damage. And the classic Tombstone, Deadman style, huge damage. And good ground game afterwards. Your opponent recovers at a huge disadvantage. Those are really strong throws. Keep your opponent honest with your poking. Jabs, down for one. Two one is really good to set up throws. Down three, just like a jab, plus one, but on hit. Sets up giant swing really nicely, uninterruptible, if I can even execute a giant swing. There we go. Foot foot neutral 2, plus 7 on hit, really good. Another favorite of mine is the chest bump, forward 1 plus 4. Plus 3 on block, plus 7 on hit. If they block, it's a win. On hit, it's a win. It's a really great move for King. Also, a Jaguar sprint, unescapable throw in the RKO. Heat engager, huge damage. Unescapable. Disgusting. Can mix with a w uh, mid elbow here that knocks down. It's really strong stuff. Use it. Uh, learn how to chain throw. Standing he heel hold is one of his best chain throws. You want to do this into King's Bridge for huge damage. Most people will mash 1 plus 2 vote to break the big damage option, which is King's Bridge. So learn at least one variation, right? So you can mix them up. Rolling Death Cradle is also... Can I land it? Also insanely strong. Insanely strong and gives Oki. 
And it's also super annoying in that it's so hard to break. Even if you know it's a two break, the break window is tiny. Even if you know the break, you can drop it. So spam chain throws. We do a lot of mental damage as well. They're so annoying to look at. Uh, and then we have the muscle armor, which I can't speak highly enough of, and it completely changes his gameplay. Stand your ground. Uh, so look at this. Death Fist! Hardest hitting single hit in the game, and King just doesn't give a shit. Tanks it, and then launches Paul. That's a punish. That's a punish. Has a built-in 2 button here, into Heat Engager. But after the stagger of, connect, of eating an attack, absorbing an attack, wait a few frames, and then you can input whatever you want. Muscle armor is super strong, but it loses to lows and throws, just like any power crush. But this has, like, infinite utility. You really want to experiment with muscle armor. And when it's not absorbing anything, it's instantly cancelable. Look, look at his goddamn biceps, man. Jesus Christ. Muscle armor is super strong. Upward 3-4 is another super strong armor attack. Minus 12 on block. Uh, oh, he's not blocking. There we go. Minus 12 on block, huge reach, right? Huge reach. Armors, power crush, and on hit, plus 25 into sprint into mix-up. So, very potent, advantageous situation there. You really want to use both of these. And then, poking is really good. I like his jab. 1-2 is strong. 1-2-1, one, one, safe. If a third hit counter hits, you get 10 frames. So you get a guaranteed 2-1 there. You see? Or a guaranteed giant swing attempt. A downford 1 is really strong. Minus 1 on block. Can add a second hit. Natural. Second hit has a ton of reach, but is, is minus 10. Forward 3 is a safe mid on block at minus 8. If it connects, press, press 1 plus 2. Big damage and knockdown into really strong Oki. A shove is a 12 frame gigantic reach mid check that's neutral on block. Doesn't do damage on hit, but gives plus 7. But on counter hit, 3 forward to 1. Heat engager. Extremely strong, the shove. And then forward forward, neutral 2 is an amazing low. Plus 7, so sets up throws on hit, right? Only minus 13 on block. He ducks under ev so much. It's so evasive. Infinite reach. And best of all, on counter hit, goes into a throw. Permanent damage! No recoverable health because it's a throw. Super strong. And then when King is in heat, his Jaguar sprint gets an armor effect, which is really strong. Oh. You see? I just absorb- oh, okay. I, I absorb uh, attacks, right? As, as you saw. And then I can do er all my normal stuff from there. So, uh, he, uh, Jaguar Sprint has hyper armor, he absorbs attacks, and then you can apply either your RKO, which is inescapable, or the Jaguar Sprint 1, which is now a safe on block mid launcher for gigantic damage. At minus 8 on block. And you just vortex that over and over, it's a 50-50. And when he is in heat, if you land like a crouch throw pedigree, if you land... Uh, the, the blue spark throws, like Shining Wizard, etc., you regain your, your um, heat bar. It refills again. And then you just do another mix up with the sprint, indefinitely. Super strong. I uh, hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Have fun with King and have a great day. Take care.